The word treble that we talked about in the last lesson refers to notes that are high. So on the guitar it would be notes you know, that are high, even up here. Uh, on the piano it would be notes that are on the right side of the keyboard, and that's what creates a high kind of sound. Now we also need a clef that represents the low notes. Um, on guitar it would be these uh, strings down here. On the piano it would be notes that are on the left side of the piano. And to use that, we use a bass clef. A bass clef looks like this. And a bass clef is also known as the F clef because these two dots go across uh, or surround the line F. Now, same thing as before, if you know that's the line F, then you can work from there and figure out what all the other line spaces mean. The next space up will be G, and then A. And then working backwards, you have E, D, C, B, A, and G. Um, as before, though, there is an easier way to remember uh, these lines and spaces. The lowest line in the bass clef is G, so the next line is B, D, F, and then A. The mnemonic device that I like to use is good burritos don't fall apart. I like a good burrito every now and then. Um, so I think that's a good way to remember it. As before, you can make up your own. The spaces are A, C, E, G. And so you can remember these by all cows eat grass. So again, just an easy way to remember it until you become more familiar with it. So do some practice with this, and then we're going to talk about a few more ideas with notation in the next lesson.